Stereotyping allows you to extend the UML. Sometimes, as you model a business process or a system, you may find that you need an element that is not explicitly part of the UML, but that resembles an element that is part of the UML. You can extend the UML element to meet your needs with a stereotype. So a stereotype lets you define your own flavor of UML, so to speak. When we're looking at classes, we'd say that a stereotype derives from a class and modifies the intent of the class that you apply it to. And this lets you differentiate the roles of your classes. For example, as you can see here, we have three different classes, and each class has a different stereotype. And what this would show us is that classes with the interface stereotype, classes with the enumeration stereotype, and classes with the primitive stereotype all have different roles within the system. All of these stereotypes are derived from the class element, but each has specific properties that pertain just to its stereotype. So stereotyping basically lets you specialize UML elements. Stereotypes are denoted by the stereotype name, such as interface, enclosed in this mark of punctuation. These are called guillemets, and they're also called angle quotes. You may have seen them used as quotation marks in languages like French or Italian. They look similar to double angle brackets, and a lot of people substitute double angle brackets for guillemets. So those surround the name of the stereotype, and the stereotype gives us some information about how this element of the class is being specialized. You'll probably derive stereotypes for the classes in your class diagrams, but the concept applies to other UML elements as well. For example, in use cases, we saw how dependencies can be stereotyped to indicate a particular kind of dependency. One, for example, that extends a use case, or the kind of dependency that includes another use case. So stereotyping can apply to many different kinds of UML elements. Whenever you need to extend the meaning of a particular element beyond what the UML itself allows, go ahead and use a stereotype. Keep in mind that the UML is designed to be flexible. It's designed to be extended to meet your modeling needs.